Did you know that the water in our body is not just water? Latest research results show that, in addition to the liquid, gaseous, and solid state, water can also exist in a fourth state of aggregation, the coherent state. The coherent state is the super state of water, and it has astonishing effects on our body. In this video, we will show you what coherent water is all about, how it is naturally created in our body, and why it plays a major role in our bodily functions. An ordinary drop of water falls down. A single drop is made up of a trillion individual water molecules. In the incoherent state, these water molecules have no order. They move randomly and collide with one another. It is a state of low energy, but water also exists in a super state, which is locally highly energetic, the coherent state. Studies show that coherent water structures form on hydrophobic, meaning water repellent surfaces, and by friction, for example, on rocks of flowing waters, such as streams and springs. In the human body, coherent water is created on the insides of arteries and veins, and as yet little understood effect at the quantum level causes the water to pass into an increased energy state. The increased charge of 13.35 electron volts causes the water molecules to arrange in a liquid crystalline structure while maintaining an even distance from one another. Coherent water has formed. Once a coherent structure has formed, it can expand to neighboring water molecules and is therefore self-reproducing. Visually, a highly coherent drop of water is easy to distinguish from a low coherent drop of water as its surface tension increases with the proportion of coherent structures which then results in the pearl-like drop shape that is typical for water. This impressive effect, however, also has enemies. Electromagnetic radiation from technical devices and structure-breaking ions, like heavy metals that are often found in pesticides and other toxins, can destroy the coherent water structure. But why is this superstate so important for the human organism? The higher the proportion of coherent water in our body, the more the following three effects become apparent. An increased cell communication, better blood circulation, and the formation of a protective coat around the cells. Looking back at the atomic composition of incoherent water, it is easy to see that the molecules are constantly colliding with one another. This constant bumping with one another creates thermal noise. For the body, this noise is an interfering frequency as it superimposes the body's own frequencies and thus hinders cell communication. In fact, if our body consisted of 100% incoherent water, the thermal noise would be so loud that communication from the brain to the cells would no longer be possible. A signal for a healing cell could no longer reach our cells, which in the end would drastically accelerate our aging process. Fortunately, a healthy body is largely made up of coherent water. The greater the proportion of liquid crystalline structure, the lower the thermal noise. The body's cell communication increases with the proportion of incoherent water in the body so that control impulses from the brain can reach the cells unhindered and in unchanged frequency. Coherent water does also have a significant influence on human blood circulation because blood consists of approximately 50% pure water. Current research shows that the blood flow is not solely managed by the heart. After all, our network of blood vessels reaches a total extent of around 100,000 kilometers. From a mathematical point of view, the heart's sheer pumping capacity is therefore too weak to allow the blood to permeate all areas of the veins and arteries. The answer lies in a recently discovered physical effect. If coherent water gets radiated with infrared light in a hydrophobic, meaning a water repellent tube, seemingly like magic, a measurable stream is created. Our veins and arteries are also hydrophobic tubes. In other words, the coherent water structure allows sunlight, which consists of 50% infrared radiation, 
to be converted into mechanical energy, thus forming an essential component of the human blood circulation. As we move to the cellular level, the effects of the coherent water structure become even more impressive. Each cell is surrounded by a layer of water. As soon as this layer consists of more than 62% coherent water, it starts to form a protective coat around the cell. To understand this effect, we must go one level deeper again. On the level of atoms, we can see that coherent water releases 13% of its electrons, which then continue to form an independent shell of electrons. This phenomenon of coherent water is the reason for the surface tension of water, which allows insects, for example, to walk on water. Now, if electromagnetic radiation hits the cell, it is more likely to be reflected due to the electron shell. Possible damage to the cell DNA was successfully prevented. But this electron shell is also playing an essential role in the body's immune system. A virus approaches the cell. This virus is equipped with perfectly matching protein keys to outwit the cell's receptors. Once the virus reaches these receptors, it will be absorbed by the cell to then manipulate the cell in order to produce new viruses. However, a cell is surrounded by a protective layer of water. If this water layer consists of at least 62% coherent water at the point of attack, the hydrogen bonds between the water molecules are too strong to allow large particles, like a virus, to pass through. The virus is unable to advance further into the cell. The attack was successfully prevented. Once the effects of the coherent water structure are understood, it becomes very clear what vital role it plays for our health, but also our physical and mental performance. From increased cell communication, to better blood circulation, to the formation of a protective coat against radiation and even viruses, coherent water thus joins the phenomena that enable life in all its diversity on our planet Earth. Inside.